Hello and welcome to part 12 of Project Enterprise. In this episode it's all about the neck and I'm really happy with the way that the neck developed and the paints and the masking and um, even doing the grey part of it. it. I think out of all of the painting and masking that I've done so far I think the neck has been the longest because um, there was the grey parts that had to be done um, on the top of the neck and the bottom of the neck and they had to be dulled so they didn't have a gloss coat they had a protective coat on them but they needed a, a dull coat on them they had a lot of fine parts to them as well um, and, and then there was the blue part of the neck that had to be done as well and then there was a blue part you know on the underside of the neck and um, there was a couple of other details as well that needed doing and then of course there was the Aztec in itself which I'm really really happy about um, it went on a bit a bit um, heavier than it did on the pylons but I'm fine with that it, it would be like that in real life anyway um, you know what from shipbuilding car building so on and so forth it would have different paneling and since it's on the exterior of the ship and it's out, and it's out in the space who would notice anyway now I do understand though why um, the film producers told the model makers to um, put a coat of white or grey or whatever it was over the, you know, Aztec and to really dull it down a lot because uh, it does play havoc with my camera. Um, but I still think it's a shame. But I am glad that I'm able to reproduce that that colouring and, and that Aztec effect, you know, to it to its fullest, so I can really see what it really looked like before they started toning it down. But overall. I'm really really happy with um, the progress that I'm making and the results that I'm getting. It looks absolutely beautiful. But anyway, I'll hand you over now to the uh, workbench and you can see exactly how I did the Aztec and how it turned out. So um, let's go over there and see exactly uh, how I did it. Bye for now. Hello. And welcome to another episode of Project Enterprise. In this episode, it's really all about the neck. And as you can see, I've already made a, a good start on it. Um, I put these masks on both sides. Um, I've also done um, some spraying as well because I, I want to put all the masks on, but I couldn't because I had to spray that part there green. I had to spray that part there grey. And also I had to do that blue. Um, I also had to do the back as well by here. Um, that had to be done and of course I had to do under the um, the nose as well so that part there had to be sprayed and that one there had to be sprayed and um, it's the same on both sides there's, there's no difference really um, and as you can see it looks looks really good I'm really happy with uh, how my uh, spraying looks um, I've put some of the masks on but I thought I'd um, have a lot of catch up with you guys and tell you exactly what I'm doing um, as well as doing the grey spraying down here, I've, I've also decided to do a bit of graying. Um, there you go, you can see it better. I've also decided to do a bit of graying. There's like a lip around the photon torpedoes. So I've decided to do um, a bit of spraying there. There you go, you can see it. And um, yeah, it'll, it'll, that'll look really nice, that will. Um, the photon torpedoes are covered in absolutely loads of um, micro masks. So there's loads on there. So they're not going to get damaged. And um, what I need to do now is basically sit back and put the masks and put the rest of the masks on here and then um do some gray spraying because i'm going to do the gray first and then um uh, do the the aztec on here and also on there and i think that'll look really really nice that one um you know so it'll be very interesting as well oh yeah i've also got to do this this green part here as well it's the same on both sides um, and I'll, I'm just like with the pylons, you, you guys will get to see that as well. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with um, how the colouring looks. It doesn't look much at the moment because obviously I've got masks on it, but it will do. And I'll probably put some decals on this as well and fill in the holes, you know, um, put micro crystal clear in all the holes as well. So um, yeah, because that the neck would be completely finished. So I might as well do everything on it really, shouldn't I? Um, but yeah, anyway. Let's go on over to the spray booth and um, do a bit of spraying. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye for now. Hello. And here we are at the workbench. I thought I'd just show you exactly what I'm going to do. Um, so I put the masks on. Uh, the masks are now on, as you can see. And um, they look really interesting. Yeah, there's, no, there's a nice little pattern there. 
the same on the other side as well um, as you can see there you know so it's a nice interesting little pattern it is and <clears throat> what I'm trying to achieve what I'm trying to achieve is I put this layer of um, uh, masks on uh, they've got on there so I, so I put that one on that one and um, that one I've covered everything else up um, I'm then going to spray um, medium grey and then I'll put the other masks on and then spray a dark grey and that's going to give me my, my nice little interesting pattern there um, so, which should look like that it says to use white for the third one but I want to do it a little different here so I'm going to use um, dark grey um, the base is a light grey uh, the, the um, first lot of masks will be a medium grey and then the third lot will be a dark grey and that's going to give me a nice little interesting contrast to the rest of the ship which is what I'm really after so that's what I've got to do so uh, without further ado let's get on with it it only take me about five minutes to do this I've got my gun loaded up already as you can probably see there we go and all I have to do is just do my spraying yeah, you can see that there yeah I'm holding this at a nice distance so I don't um, drown the model as they say you know if you spray too close um, then you can actually really drown the model and um, that's I don't want to do that but I do want to put a nice coat of grey on hey do I I, I sort of know when I put enough on because um, the masks are obviously blue, yeah? Um, I want it to turn the same colour as the other grey. So that's pretty much what I'm looking for. And obviously I've got to put this coat on and then um, I'll let it dry and then move on with another coat. Just do another side here yeah? and then I'll have to let it um, dry. Okay, so that's enough there for now. And you can see the uh, effect I've got there. Just get the light on it. Here we go. You can see the effect I've got there. You know, you know um, the mask is almost gone. And well, what the mask is doing is, is covering up the previous coat. Um, and then this coat is going on top of the mask. So I'll get, um, just like with the Aztec, and I'll get a nice little pattern, which will be really nice. And I'll be really impressed with that. So I'll, um, I'll let this dry for a bit. Ooh, 10 15 minutes obviously you guys don't want to stick around for that but i've got to put another two coats on this and some clear lacquer so that's what i'll do and then when that's fully dried i'll put the other masks on which will be uh there they are, which will be these ones here to do the lines and then um, you guys can see that all right so i'll see you guys in a bit all right bye for now Here we are for another episode. Um, I put the other masks on there because uh, I did th this part here. Um, that's all nicely dried. And I put these masks on and I've taken away these little bits here. And um, it needs to be sprayed now and it will look something like that. So it'll be long there, well, and that'll be the last part for this neck. And then I'm going to do probably either the green part here or maybe this part down here, I don't know, I haven't made it in mind. Um, but that's where I'm at, I'm, um, I just need to load up my gun and um, get on with it. So, without further ado, let's, let's do that. I will say putting these, putting these masks on, um, as you do more and more of them, you, you, do get, you do get used to them, you know? And I really do enjoy these, um, putting these masks on and spraying it. And, the patterns I'm getting and the effects I'm getting are just absolutely really impressive it really is you know I'm very happy with um, these masks and and the pattern I'm getting I, I, I could never have done it without it really um, but overall yeah I'm so very happy and um, it has taken me a while to you know get used to the masks and you know um, put them on and and um, just all the other things that are 
or weeding as well, <laughs> weeding. But overall, I'm very happy with them because there's no way I could get this sort of pattern with using tape or anything else. And but they are highly, re I do highly recommend them. You know. Anyway, and of course, I'm a big Star Trek fan, so why wouldn't you want the ass ticking? Okay, so here we go. This. Trying to get this at a good angle so I can spray it and um, you guys can see what I'm doing is always a, a bit of a challenge really. Uh, yeah. I do like the, um, the patterns it makes, you know, I can only imagine what all this is going to look like when um, it all comes together as they say, you know, especially when I do the all the, all the whole um, part, I was, I was watching um, the mass design video on that last night and uh, I can only imagine um, what that's going to look like. You, you can visually see it and you sort of see yourself, oh yeah, that, that's going to look really, really good, that is. You know, but you can't really, you know, visualise it and, until you start to actually do it, you know. But um, I have no doubt that it's going to look absolutely storming, it really is. And I'm actually really looking forward to it. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it really, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to let that dry and then um, decide on what I'm doing next. I have, uh, well, it'll be another part on the neck, I just haven't decided on what part of the neck yet. But as, but as you can see, it um, looks very effective. I'm really, you know, I'm really happy with um, how that looks, really. Let's see if we can get it, really, there it is, really getting camera shot now. There we go. Yeah, there you can see it now. You know, I'm really happy with it, really impressed with it. I'll show the other side. Yeah. Oh, let's get the light in there, that'll be better. Really impressed with that. Really happy. I really like it. You know. Okay. So I'm gonna go off, let this completely dry, um, pull off the masks, and then then do some more masking, and then I'll be back with another part of this. So until then, you take care and have an awesome weekend. Bye now. Hello. And here we are. It's all nicely dried, and everything looks really good. Um, just put my light on and I thought I'd show you guys what it all looks like. I've taken all the masks off and I'm really happy and impressed with the way it looks. Um, really, really enjoying this um, masking kit and as you can see it looks really good. I'm, I'm really impressed with, with how that looks. I'll show you the other side. Get a nice close-up for you. There you go. Um, it took a couple of hours for, for everything to dry and um, once, it w once it was I um, took it all off. I had to do a bit of a touch up on this blue part here and that's still drying a bit but it's more than good enough for you guys to see exactly what it's like. I'll put this the right way. So yeah, really happy with um, how this looks and the detail is really shining through. You know, I'm really happy with um, how it looks and um, all the little squares and lines and everything just looks absolutely wonderful i'm really really happy with it you know and uh, i even got the back pit on here done which i was really concerned about but not a problem at all the masks really helped with that so yeah really highly recommended i really am you know so yeah so that's it so so nice i'll just get this in camera there we go so looks really nice now and i'm really happy and really impressed with it um the next part i'm probably going to do is this part here and i'll be the same on the other side as well i'm going to do um in the actual instruction manual it says to do it one color but i'm going to do it two different colors and um, just so it matches in with um the uh, strong back so thank you to everyone um and thank you for all your likes comments and subscriptions and as i've said before I, I, if you want to see more i do have a youtube uh sorry a um, twitter account which is julian1701d 
and you can like and comment and follow on there so until part 12 you all take care and have an awesome weekend bye now hello and uh, here we are doing another part of uh, the neck right okay um just showing you what i've done so far um obviously i've done all the, the gray part i'm now doing this part here now i've gone ahead and done the gray um the green lines in a really dark green um which is this color and it's the same color that i used on the pylons um, so there's no difference there i'm now going to spray um that area there and those three by there in this color and then all these little line bits there i'm going to spray those in this color and that's going to basically um, by doing that that's going to match in with the um, strong back and it will look quite striking like that, i believe um, so without further ado let's uh let's get on with it and well i'll just quickly show you neck so there you are there, there it is so far and that looks um well i'm striking the other side exactly the same so i'll just quickly spray these and then um yeah it'll look good close there okay we've run out a little bit so I'll have to put a bit more in but that's the way it goes sometimes I haven't put a lot in I'm literally just put I'm literally just putting a couple of drops in because um, I, I don't need that much it's not exactly a huge area is it so i only got a little bit in my um, air gun so i, I was uh, expecting it to run out but that's just the way it goes sometimes so we'll carry on there we go all done. There you go. Looks rather good, that doesn't it? Rather, looks really good. And of course, the other side is the same as well. So I'll just show you the other side. So I'll let this dry, and um, I'll let this dry, and then show you, um, and then sorry, and then do um, the little parts in the in the other green. So I'll see you guys ooh, in a couple of hours. All right. You take care. Bye now. And here we are for the last bit. And as you can see, I've taken the last bit of the masks off and it looks uh, really good now. I'm trying to catch it in the light, it's a bit dark here. But yeah, there you go. I've only have to do these little bits here. And then that's the um, green part of the neck done. Then I can move on with uh, another part. As you can see, it looks really good, you know. So let's, let's go ahead and spray it. I've got my gun all loaded up. So away we go as they say shouldn't take too long this because it's only um it's only like little small squares really and um yeah i've got a very little paint in the gun as well so i don't want to flood it as they say but yeah, i've got to get a, a good good base coat on it
gun out there. Let's put some more uh, paint in my gun. Always difficult to try and judge just how much paint you actually need when you're doing something like when you do as little work as this really. But um, sometimes I get it right and sometimes I don't get it right, but you know that's just the way it goes sometimes. Um, yeah. Literally um, I literally have about half a dozen drops in you. There's hardly anything in you at all and don't really need much more than that. You know, really don't. And um, sometimes too little is very often the better way, really. And what I'm really looking for is just where the holes start blending in with the surrounding area, then I know that it's completely covered. And like it's get, getting here, it's, when I'm spraying it, it starts blending in where there's overspray. And uh, that's when you know that it's completely covered. There's no um, no colour through on it really. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm getting slowly, bit by bit. And that's it. It's done. I missed. Put that on there to dry off. And that's it guys, that's the, that's the green part of the neck done. So thank you for um, staying with me for this part and I'm going to let this completely dry now and then I'll take all the masks off and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Um, I'll, I'll just give you a quick look now, um, but I'll wait until that's all completely dry, which will take a good ooh, half a day and then I'll um, take all the masks off. And then I've got to decide, am I doing this part down here or this part? I'll probably, ooh, I'll probably do the big bit here actually, um, so I can cover all that whole area up and then I can just work on this part then. So anyway, as soon as it's all dry and I peeled it all off, you guys will get to see it. So you go and make yourself a cup of tea and make yourself comfy and I'll see you in a bit. You take care. Bye now. Hello. And here we are, it's finished. Doesn't it look nice? I'm really happy with how this looks and uh, I'll get it as close as I can, there we go. And you can really see the contrast in the colors. Um, I'm really happy with how that looks with the pale green, the medium green, the dark green and the darkest green. And um, you, you can really see the grid lines and I didn't, you know, I'm, I'm glad I decided to go for, you know, one four different colors because it, now it blends in with the strong back really well. And um, I think you'll agree, the masks did an absolutely fabulous job and now a part of the Aztec and I'm really happy with that. And the other side is, is just as gorgeous and equally as awesome. So now that's nice and dried, I've got to go and do a bit more masking and get all this area here and that area there ready for um, uh, painting. I've got to cover all that up and obviously cover that up. And um, then I'll be doing some more painting of uh, the gold. A green, blue and a bit of red this time so I'm looking forward to that. So until the um, next, next episode you all take care, stay tuned. Bye now. Hello and welcome back and I'm all ready to do the um, Aztec in actually and as you can see from here um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the gold, uh, blue, green and then the red and I'm going to do it a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to put more red and less green because I, I do like red. Um, but that's basically what I've got the next setup to do now, which is obviously there. And um, I'll just bring that a lot closer. And I've got my um, gun set up with, with some nice gold. So yeah, that's literally what I have to do. I have to do um, obviously the neck pack here, these here, and on here as well. And it's the same on um, both sides. So let's get on with it, eh, guys? This is going to look, um, I'm really anxious to see what this will uh, look like because this is, um, well, quite nice. And I've got my gun loaded up as well with uh, gold. So yeah, this um, will look really, really nice. I mean, that's going to look really good. And I'm just going to spray this exactly the same way as I did with um, the pylons, really. So I'm just holding it back here. And I'm just going to spray on a nice bit of um, gold. It should, it should look really nice. 
Yeah. And as you can see, that's just, that is going on really nice and really fine and no problem there whatsoever, which is exactly what I wanted. I didn't want any problems. So, yeah, and that gold is going on there and spraying very nicely. Turn it around and do the other side. Do the top bit first. layer of gold on there. I want to make sure that I get a nice uh, almost even gold look on all of it really but you never know. Don't, uh, I don't mind if one panel is a bit more gold than the other but I don't like it if like um, half a panel is is gold and the other half is white which will be defeating the object really of what I'm trying to do and I don't mind this inconsistencies in, in um, one panel being well like I said more gold than the other but I do mind if there's you know one like that one there it's more gold down the bottom than it is at the top so we'll just get all that nice and even and that's typical I've uh, run out of gold so we'll just my uh, cup, some more gold in it. And the gold I'm using is exactly the same one I did for the um, pylons. Need to put a bit more leveling fluid in here. Give it a mix. I'm doing all this off screen because it's just so much easier really. Um, and a lot safer than holding it up to the camera and uh, mixing it all around. It, uh, there's a chance of me dropping it and getting it everywhere. So there we are. There you go. That's gone on there nice. I want to make sure that I've got a nice even colour. I might do a bit of that actually to make sure that I've got a nice even one, nice slow even strokes. I'm just put a little bit on, it's always a bit difficult to see if um, you put enough on or too much really but I'm doing it just a bit right. There we go. I think you'll agree that looks uh, nice and gold now. Probably a bit too much gold, but that's fine. So like I said before, with the story of the T-34, you know, some, um, some factories would produce it. Send out material that is um, of better quality or worse quality than the other one. So again, overall, I'm, I'm happy with that. I can see under the light that that is all nicely gold. You know? Yeah, that's nice, sir. So I'm going to let that dry, and then I'll peel another lot off and decide um, which one I'm going to do, either the, the blue, green, or red. So until then, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right? Take care. Bye now. And welcome back. And uh, I've now masked up the um, gold spraying that I've done. And now I'm going to spray the uh, blue part, which I've already got loaded in my gun. So, without further ado, let's do a bit of uh, blue spraying, eh?
nicely blued. Got a nice little, um, nice little blue haze to it. Even the little port windows are a bit more bluer than they should be, and I actually quite like that because in real life those um, port windows, if you, if you can just see it, those port windows would be reinforced. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. Just trying to get it in the light. There we go. But yeah, it looks really good there. I'm really happy with that. I'll let that dry completely and then um, peel off, then cover them up, peel off the next lot and probably spray a bit of green. So I'll see you guys in a bit. You take care. Bye now. Hello. And here we are doing, ready to paint the air green. And as you can see, so let's put a bit more light there. There we go. And as you can see, <clears throat> I've done all the masking and peeled off all the other ones for the green. What I've used, just as a point of interest, what I've used for masking is basically um, the weeding from the other masking that I've done on, on the pylons and on the neck and all that. And it's really, really good. Um, waste not, what not, as they say. And it saves me using tape. And I find this mask is really, really good. It's absolutely brilliant. I love it, I do. But anyway, as you can see, on both sides, it's all ready to get sprayed up. So let's uh, let's get on with it and do a bit of spraying. I got my gun all loaded up. So yeah, let's go. And this is the same green that I used on the um, pylons. So there's no real difference there. Uh, green haze to it now. I'm really happy with that. I like to put my um, my haze on a bit a bit thicker because I have noticed with a lot of the enterprises it's, it's that that thin that you can't really see it as well. I actually do want to see it, so I like it. I like the look of it. I really do, and it's going to look just as awesome if you can just about see it as um, as that one on there. So yeah, I'll let this dry and then I'll do the red, which is the last one to do. So until then, you take care. I'll see you ooh, probably in a couple of hours, all right? Bye for now. Hello. 
and welcome back to the last bit of spring. And as you can see, I've um, masked everything up now. Well, I've masked up the green. I'm now ready to spray the, um, the red. And uh, it's on both sides as well. And it's gonna look really interesting, yeah? I've, I've, opened, I've opened up a bit more um, for the red and the less for the green and the blue because I, I want a bit more red on my enterprise. So yeah, well, um, this will be really interesting. I've got my gun all loaded up, so let's get on with it, eh? I can see the colour coming through already, yeah? it looks absolutely gorgeous, it really does. I've used this um, metallic red before, it's, it's absolutely beautiful, it really is. It's a very beautiful red. I can't think what um, project I did it on. I think it was on Project Street Racer. But um, I do love the metallic reds that um, come with the colour, they, they really are quite phenomenal. I really, I really do like them. And this is, this is going on really nice as well. Well, the whole metallic range actually is really, really nice. Yeah. I love the whole metallic range. It's just beautiful, all the reds and blues, greens and golds. They're all, they're all equally um, beautiful. I didn't quite put enough in there, so I'll have to put a bit more in. off screen because it's a bit uh, it's a bit safer so I'll load up my um, airbrush off screen than what it is to do it uh, on screen really don't want to get everywhere do we and yeah we'll um, carry on and just, just doing a nice little always get one isn't there Nice that does. I'm really happy with that. Let's see if we can catch it, yeah. Looks beautiful that does. I'll let this dry. I'll let both sides dry completely. And then I'll take everything off. I'll take all the masks off and uh, show you guys exactly what the neck looks like. Um, if there's any problems there, I'll sort the, those out. So um, the next part will be literally what this what the neck looks like with um, all of the um Aztec in to after the mask has been taken off, so yeah, I'll see you guys. Well, it'll be a couple of hours of me, but for you guys, it'll be instant. So, uh, I'll see you in a bit. All right, bye now. Hello, and welcome to the final part of this episode of Project Enterprise. And as you can see, the neck is now done and it's completed, and I'm really happy with the way it come, came out. Um, it looks so striking and looks so beautiful you know especially with where the pylons are, are done and the neck is done 
and all the paint has. I did put the paint on a bit um, heavier than I have done on the pylon, but that's fine with that. You know, I'm fine with that. Like I said before, that you know, different suppliers would um, provide different qualities of uh, metals and colours and so on and so forth. And if you look at shipyards and can manufacturing, you'll notice that the actual panels all look very different anyway. And, and I'm really happy with that and it's keeping in line with what the original model makers wanted anyway they wanted the enterprise to look really beautiful and pretty and so I'm really really happy with that just show you the other side and there you can see it looks really cool that one blue is a lot heavier than the other blues but unfortunately that's the way it went I had a real problem with that one there with that um, particular panel there um, after I sprayed it and I pulled the masks off it, it took um, some of the paint with it so I was unable to put the mask back on so I had to make a makeshift mask and um, cover up what the damage that was done there so but that's fine it, I think it gives it character and it gives it a like, little bit of extra wear really and I'm really happy with the with the colour scheme it really is looking you know also magnificent you know and um, I've done all the blueing up on the neck by here and I've done the blue in on the underside of the neck and I've um, put a nice bit of um, clear on the fucking torpedoes and I've done around them as well I've done them in a real nice um, uh, see if I can really get in camera shot there if you can see that there's like a lip that goes around the fucking torpedoes and I decided to um, spray that um, a very light grey and I was really happy with uh, how that turned out I also did um, the grey in on there as well as you can see and that looks really good I was really happy with that and there's the green part there and it's the same on the other side as well and there's the underside there's um, the lip there. there that was supposed to have three blue squares on it but I decided not to do that after um, and the grey bit there was done I mean overall I'm really really happy with, with how this looks and I've um, put the um, crystal clear in there and on there as well um, so it looks really good and I'm really happy with it I've given it a good polishing and I put on the photon torpedo exhaust vent because that's what that is I found out what that was after this whole section here is um, photon torpedo um, left and right side and, and that is the photon torpedo exhaust from when it's launched so I didn't know that but it's actually really interesting to, find, to know that but then yeah as you can see it all looks really really beautiful and I'm really happy with the masking and, and the colour and the paint and the look of it you know it's, it's just how I imagine the Enterprise you know originally looked before they started toning down the colours and they started you know um, putting white after, then white and grey on it so they could you know to, to stop the actual um, um, white washing out of the cameras because the original paint work um, did a lot of reflecting back at the cameras which draw which caused a lot of unnecessary lens flare and so on and so forth but overall i'm really really happy with with how this looks you know and um, I'm, I'm i'm really really pleased you know it looks absolutely gorgeous it really does you know really be really beautiful very very striking and i'm really really happy with it and of course it goes in it fits in really well with the pylons you know because the pylons look absolutely gorgeous as well so it fits in with those very nicely um what i'm going to do next now is i've uh well i'm going to do the back parts here and then i'm going to do these parts here um because they're all that's all gold and that's all gold and the rest of it is all different colored so I'll probably do those next and then do this section here or this section here uh, and then do the belly section and um, yeah so that's what I'm gonna go off and do now guys so until the next episode you all take care have an awesome weekend and thank you for all your comments subscriptions and likes it's very much appreciated and if you want to um, if you want to really get involved then I do have a Twitter account and that is um, Julian1701D at Twitter and you can comment on there and chat to me there and all sorts so until the next episode you all take care bye for now